what's UKIP's policy for uh, preserving our water utilities, our, our electricity utilities, to England instead of letting them go into foreign ownership? Well, um, there, there's a whole load of issues wrapped up in that question. Um, take the, let's take the nuclear point first. Sadly, we do not have the skills. And the reason we don't have the skills is because we haven't built a nuclear power station for a couple of decades. And therefore, young people going to study engineering at university don't do nuclear engineering. So universities don't offer courses in nuclear engineering. And as I mentioned earlier, Gordon Brown sold off Westinghouse, which was our British um, nuclear uh, industry company, um, because Gordon Brown had decided we'd never need nuclear power anymore, so let the Americans have it and, and uh, off it went, uh, which was a disastrous decision. Uh, what we ought to be doing with nuclear power is we ought to be building, starting, uh, in my view, a new nuclear power station about one every two years. Um, and then you'd have a situation where there was a career path for people who wanted to work in the industry. And you could get a degree when you were 21 years old and you could work for 40 or 45 years and retire and be in the nuclear industry all the way through. And we could do it and we should do it, but we've let it go to pieces and there's quite a big job to put it back together again. Now on the broader question of ownership, we are not a protectionist party. We are not about to say, you know, we'll build a wall around Britain and nobody can come in. And do bear in mind that although lots of foreign companies buy British businesses, I mean, thank God the Indians bought Jaguar because it was going to go down the plug hole if they hadn't. And I drive a Jaguar and I'm very proud of it and I'm very grateful to Mr. Tata for coming and buying uh, the Jaguar Land Rover Group. We in Britain have enormous investments overseas which earn a continuous stream of dividends coming into this country from companies that we've bought overseas. In those circumstances, it's very difficult to say we won't let people buy businesses here. On the other hand, we do have a very serious concern that after we in Britain have privatised a whole load of major industries, which has created some problems, but on balance I think it's a good thing, I'm very upset then to see nationalised industries, for example from France, coming and buying up British industries, effectively renationalising them. Now, I don't think we have a clear policy on that yet, and there's something pops up in the manifesto that I haven't seen, but that is an issue we will want to address. Having Britain having privatised, we don't want to be renationalised by the French. Um, that's a very unsatisfactory situation, so that does need dealing with.